I didn't know if I'd ever be able to do it. You know, it's just, I've been so close so many times. I could just never get kind of over the hump. You know, I always had one bad round or made a handful of mistakes. And uh, obviously I've been playing good this year. My game wasn't perfect this week, but um, I was very patient with the tough setup. And I think I relied on some of my experiences in the, you know, the PGA Professional Championship, the way the course was set up, how you got to play for par and be happy with it. And, uh, and then ultimately I got a little lucky there at the end with the playoff and how things finished. My mentality was kind of a little more aggressive, like a little more attack mode, and I did that early. I uh, had a really good warm-up session. I hit the ball a little bit better. I was in a little bit further. Uh, made a couple nice birdies early. Almost made an eagle there on, uh, on number five, I think it is. Um, and then in the middle of my round, I got a little tentative. And, uh, and things got a little sloppy and you know, missed a couple short putts, made a couple bogeys in there. It was a battle today, you know? Uh, not quite as windy as yesterday, obviously, but the, the pins, the greens being so firm, really uh, you know, was trying to walk the line of aggressive and also be very happy with par on a lot of the holes out there. To be good at golf, you got, it's a combination of skill and then a little bit of luck to win. And everyone needs that, and certainly I, I got a little bit of it myself this week. And, uh, uh, especially there at the end, but I've played such good golf and I was so patient the whole week and I made pretty good decisions strategy-wise and all of those things kind of kind of added up and, uh, and helped me come out on top. This year's just been magic. Uh, PGA Championship, the final round I played to get in the PGA Championship, that was kind of magic. Uh, just getting on the PGA Cup team as an alternate last minute, which is in a few weeks, that, that event's magic, right? Now winning this and getting a little lucky at the end and the Phoenix Open, I mean, uh, I'm just very fortunate and very grateful. I mean, this is the top of the top in our section and uh, especially with the carrot of playing in the Phoenix Open. Um, I mean, that's my childhood dream. I think I'm probably gonna be more nervous there than, than the PGA Championships. I just keep telling my wife, I'm like, I'm not even gonna go to the Phoenix Open unless I'm playing in it. <laughs> I'm like, because that's how bad I wanna be a participant in, in that event. And the energy about that place, and now it's even bigger, obviously. Uh, it's gonna be magical, and it's gonna be a fun week, obviously, hanging out with all my pink uh, staff players. They're, they're gonna be like, what are you doing in this event? You know, so that part is always fun. That never gets old. I think all my coworkers at Ping are uh, gonna be very, very excited and probably take, all of them are gonna take Thursday and Friday off and hopefully the weekend as well uh, and, and come out and, uh, and have some fun. It's all a bonus, you know, the competition and the, the prize money and everything you get is all a bonus. And so I just try to have a lot of gratitude out there and, uh, and stay calm, albeit my 18th hole, I had a little fire when I hit that drive down there and, on 18.